How's it going everybody? This is GAC Pokemon and welcome back to the channel. We have a very exciting unboxing today because I found this four pack of Pokemon tins today at Costco. Uh, this retails for $65 and it has four tins inside that each retails for $25 a piece. Not only is this an awesome value, but we also get some Evolving Skies packs inside these tins as well, which means we get a couple more chances at pulling that Umbreon VMAX. Let's go right ahead and jump in. All right guys, so here is our four pack of tins. I apologize because this is the best I can do to fit them in here. Um, this package is pretty huge, but as you can see, we have an Umbreon V10 down here. We have an Espeon V10 over here. And up top, we have a Sylveon V10 in this corner and an Empoleon V10. Now, these come from the V Heroes tins and the Battle Styles tins. Um, so we'll see a little bit of Evolving Skies in these guys, plus some Battle Styles packs, among other things. Um, but each one of these tins is going to have a foil card of uh, either Espeon, Umbreon, or Sylveon, which we have all three, and uh, five booster packs as well in each one of these guys plus this one has an Empoleon V and five more booster packs. So overall, we get four tins in this bad guy, uh, 20 packs in total, and like I said in the intro, for $65. So um, cost per pack, this is a great deal. Uh, now let's see if we can get some awesome pulls out of these. All right, I'm a sucker for Umbreon, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this tin here, which has this Umbreon V on the front. I'll go ahead and move these additional ones to the side and we'll pull those back out here in a minute. All right, the plastic's off of this guy, so we'll go ahead and take the lid off of this tin here. And we'll first get a look at our Umbreon V uh, promo card off the top. So let me see if this wants to behave. There we go. Okay. All right. So there's our Umbreon V promo. Let's pull this out of here. And we'll, of course, I'll give you guys these uh, TCG online codes as well. All right, guys. So there is the code card. And I should say right now as well, uh, this is a good time as any to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. Um, as a refresher, these codes are a single-use product, which means if you get them first, you get what's in here, and if you don't, you don't get anything. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you're into the online game, because you do get first, uh, first dibs on those codes. Uh, and here is our Umbreon V promo. Very nice looking card there. Flip that around, we'll see the condition on the back, and it looks really nice. Um, which I say a lot, you can't always be sure of how conditions are with these promos because they uh, don't always store them the best in these tins, but this one looks great, so that's a really nice sign. All right, so we have our Umbreon in the back there with the pulls. We'll go ahead and get all the packs out now and just get these out and have them out of the way. Uh, put this rest of the tin to the side here and we'll see what kind of packs we have inside this tin. So on the front, we have a Brilliant Stars, a second Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, and we have two Evolving Skies packs. So a lot of really good stuff in here. Um, I'll go ahead and get started here with this Fusion Strike pack and then we'll go into Brilliant Stars and we'll cap this one off with the Evolving Skies packs. Um, now I'm pretty sure both of the other Evolution tins uh, from this product should have the same packs inside. Uh, the Empoleon tin, I'm not as sure what that one's gonna have. I haven't opened that one up before, so I guess we'll see a little bit later on. Um, but here's our first pack of the day. We have we have a black code card. So that's a good sign. We'll have a hit in this one. There's your code card there. Flip this around, two, three, four, to the front. And here is what we have on our first pack of the day. It's a fusion strike. A little water energy on the front. Beware. Elisa's, Elisa's Sparkle, excuse me. Croconaw, Totodile, Trubbish, Clefki, Shroomish, Shoodle. We have a Drucloak. Uh, reverse hollow, and that is a common reverse. And on the end, our first rare card of the day is a Steelix, hollow rare. We're gonna have our Vs back here, our hits, all that kind of stuff, and our hollow hollows on this side. We'll get into now our Brilliant Stars packs. Um, this is always a fun set to open. You know, there's some good stuff in these. We could get that uh, Charizard uh, V-Star rainbow would be a big hit. Um, but also there's some cool trainer gallery cards in this set that um, surprisingly all the packs of Brilliant Stars have opened. I have yet to actually pull a uh, trainer gallery card myself, which um, is kind of strange. So we'll see if we can get one of those today. Fingers crossed for one of those at least. Um, but yeah, lots of great stuff in these packs. So we'll see what we can get. There is our code card on the end. Flip this around forward to the front and we do have a V-Star card on the front instead of an energy. So we'll start off with that. We have a double turbo energy. Grottle, Primpluff, Pipluff, Churchwood, it's weird, we get starters and their evolutions back to back there. Uh, Sneasel, Clink, Spiritoon, coming up on a reverse, and this is gonna be a Pipluff reverse hollow, very nice to see. And on the end, we have a hit, it's Whimsicott V. All right, we'll get into our next Brilliant Stars pack here. This has a Charizard artwork in the front, we'll see if we can get lucky enough to pull that from this guy here. Not likely, but you never know. 
someone's got to, right? Why can't it be me? Slide that out of there. Here's your code card off the end. Three, four is our pack trick. Flip it around and we have a psychic energy in the front of this pack here. Prodonx, Claydol, Astrola's Premonition, Weasel, Alucha, Throw, Magmar, love that artwork. Star you. Our reverse is a Torterra, and that is a rare reverse holo, so it's a nice pickup there. And on the end, our final card is a Garchomp, holo rare. All right, so we got some solid hits out of this guy so far. We'll see if we can keep that going with these Evolving Skies packs. Uh, this is one of the most desirable and probably most expensive uh, sword and shield sets there is today. Uh, just because of the presence of a lot of those evolutions in here, um, there are some really, really special artworks of those cards, including that Umbreon VMAX that I've been after. Um, basically since this set came out, and I still haven't found it, um, that card currently is going for probably around 560 bucks online, which is pretty wild. Um, so unlikely to get that today, but fingers crossed, you never know. We'll start off this time with an electric energy on the front, Ursa Ring, Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Teddy Ursa, Mareep, Zorua, Tentacool, Hopip. Our reverse from this pack is a Lombre, and that's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, we have an Altaria, regular rare. All right, final Evolving Skies pack from this first tin we have today, and then we'll get into our second tin uh, from that pack of four. Um, very good deal on those. Very happy I was able to pick those up. Uh, the guy at Costco said they usually go pretty fast as soon as they get those in. So um, I felt pretty lucky I was able to find that today. It's not often you come up on a hit that big. Uh, there is your code card. Two, three, four to the front. That's four. All right, cool. Flip it around. And here we go, guys. Last pack of this first tin. We have a Fighting Energy on the front. Toy Catcher. Uh, Scroll and Fang Dragon. Floette. The Bebe. Bubble. Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Boldor is our uh, reverse from this pack, and that's an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, we have a hit. It's Dracozolt VMAX. All right, guys, so we're off to a great start already. We had uh, hits in four out of those five packs, I believe. So um, definitely not complaining about anything we got out of there. It's a very, very nice start to these opening. Um, we'll go ahead and cut into this next tin. Now this is the Sylveon V, uh, V Heroes tin and we'll see what we can get out of these next five packs. Um, so I am assuming, like I said, that these packs will be the same as we just saw that Umbreon pin, uh, but there is some variability to these things sometimes, so uh, we'll see what we get out of this one. We'll go ahead first and we'll take off this top here so we can get a look at our code card and our promo. There is that one-of-a-kind code card there, and here is our Sylveon V promo. Nice looking artwork there. And again, condition looks really nice for these tins, so that's definitely a positive sign. We'll sleeve this guy up real quick and we'll get our packs out of here, which I can see off the top, we already have a billion stars, which is a good sign. Um, again, I'm assuming we'll get the same packs out of here. That should be the case. We'll pull these out now and we see what we got. So brilliant stars, brilliant stars, fusion strike, evolving skies, and evolving skies. Good, so we have the same five. We're gonna keep that order the same as well. So we'll go ahead and start off with this fusion strike pack here, uh, first thing. Uh, there's some good stuff in this pack. I haven't had the best luck with it uh, myself personally. I think that's kind of the case for most people as well. Fusion Strike's been kind of a kind of a letdown. Um, I want to say it's probably the least expensive pack to buy today uh, from Sword and Shield, which is um, pretty rough. Not gonna lie, pretty rough. But uh, there's some good stuff in here, so we'll see what we can grab out of our first pack. We'll flip that around two, three, four to the front, and we're starting off this time with a Dark Energy Fusion Strike Energy. Turtonator, Pukimuku, Snubble, Geodude, Sizzlipede, Klefki, Pansage, Jupiter is our reverse, and that is a common reverse hollow. And on the end, we have a hit again. Serena V. Good start here. Gonna have to move this little uh, pile over here over pretty soon with all the V's we're getting. Um, definitely a great start. We'll move on to this next Brilliant Stars pack here now. See what we can get out of this guy. Again, you know what's in here, you know what I'm looking for. We'll see if we can snag something nice out of this guy. There is your code card. Pack trick. Energy on the front, it's a metal energy. Monferno, Gloria, Starmie, Spiritomb, Purloin, Milkery, Shinx, Impidimp, 
Our reverse is a Dedenny, and that is an uncommon, well, that's a common reverse hollow, excuse me. And on the end, we have a Moltres hollow rare. All right, we're keeping it going. All right, so the value as far as these cards goes really hadn't been there so far, but I mean, with all these hits we're getting, it's really hard to complain about what we've got. I mean, this has been a really fantastic start. Um, you know, high value cards are not, to get this many hits out of this many packs is, is pretty rare. I hope this keeps up for the rest of these, but uh, we'll keep on going and see what we get. There is the code card for this Brilliant Stars pack. We'll flip this around. Uh, there is our four cards to the front, and we'll see what we get on this guy. We have a water energy in the front this time. A um, little beat up, actually, out of the pack, which is interesting to see. Uh, Vibrava, Tropius, Claydol, Staryu, Rilu, Starly, Milkery, Milkery, whatever I called that, Carablast, and we do have a trainer gallery this time, which is Octillery. This is the first trainer gallery I've actually gotten out of these Billion Stars packs, so that's very cool. Um, that is a nice card to get. I love that artwork. Great hollow pattern on there. And on the end, we have a Mewtwo non-hollow rare. All right, very happy to pull my first trainer gallery from Brilliant Stars, and now we're getting into the thick of these tins, which is our Evolving Skies packs. Um, so again, the Evolutions in here are the big guys. There's also a couple of Rayquaza cards in here that are pretty big hitters. We'll see if we can snag any of those. Fingers crossed, we'll get a big hit out of one of these last two packs. Flip this around. We're starting off this time with an Electric Energy on the front. Tentacruel, love that Pokemon. Rubber Gloves, Floet, Hippopotas, Zorua, Psyduck, love that one too. Rufflet, Drowsy. Our reverse is a Gossifler, and that is a common reverse hollow. And on the end, we have a Stoutland, non hollow rare. Well, let's keep it going. We'll get into our final Evolving Skies pack from the second tin now. Uh, almost halfway there on these tins so far, and I gotta say, we've gotten some really nice stuff. Um, definitely a very, very, very solid start to this opening. See if we can keep this going and get some more big hits as we close this one out. So, final pack from this second tin, Evolving Skies. Let's see what we get out of this one. Fighting Energy on the front, Switching Cups, Elemental Badge, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Zorua, Psyduck, Drowsy, Rufflet, Flabebe. We have a Rapid Strike Scroll, and that is an Uncommon Reverse Hollow. And on the end, we have a Tropius Non-Hollow Rare. All right, we're gonna save that Espeon tin for last. I'm eager to see what packs we get out of this Empoleon tin. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this one next for our third tin of this opening. Um, again, off to a really nice start with these guys. We've gotten some really nice uh, ultra rare pulls so far. I'll shut up so I can pull that plastic off. I know some of you people like that kind of noise, so I'll let you hear that. Um, there is our Empoleon V right on the top. We'll get this promo card out of here for you guys, and we'll see the third card as well. Put that off to the side. All right, there is your code card, folks. Lovely stuff there. Good luck. And here is our Empoleon V promo. Nice looking card here. Love me some Empoleon. Condition is good as well. It's a little crooked, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so I can see on top we have a Fusion Strike pack in here, but let's dig the rest of these out and see what we got. Uh, looks like there is some Evolving Skies as well, which is great to see. So Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike, two packs of Evolving Skies, and then one Chilling Rain on the end as well. We'll switch things up here. We'll go Chilling Rain first and get into Fusion Strike second. Um, just one of these Chilling Rain packs, so I kind of like to go you know, least to greatest as far as the uh, number of packs goes. So. We'll start here. We'll get into that of all the skies at the end. Fingers crossed again that we see one of those monstrous hits. But uh, Chilling Rain has some decent stuff too, if you can find it. There's some nice alt arts in this uh, this set. Um, those Galarian birds are definitely the big hitters you want to see. So we'll see if we can stack one of those out of here. Starting off here with a Dark Energy, Thwacky, Fog Crystal, Hatchum, Furfro, Venipede, Sphiel, Crab Brawler, Go left. The Porygon Z is our reverse, and that is a rare reverse, so I like to see that. And on the end, our final card is a Viper non hollow rare. All right, so nothing major there, but we have these two more uh, Fusion Strike packs to get into, which have Mew on the front. Um, and as you might guess, there is a really, really nice uh, alt art of Mew that we could potentially pull out of this pack, so we'll see if we can get one of those. Again, fingers crossed. We're hoping for the big hits here, as we always do. Uh, they don't come through very often. That's kind of just the nature of, of the game and the, uh, the hobby. But um, when it does, I mean, it's always very exciting. So 
Maybe this is the one, you never know. There's our four to the front. Flip that around and we start off with a Psychic Energy on the front. Stantler, Gliscor, Scorch, Meowth, Onyx, Shootle, Shroomish, Clefty, Chansey is our reverse and that's a common reverse hollow. And on the end, Luxray, non-hollow. All right, one fusion strike down, one more to go. No hits came out of that one and no hits from this tin so far. Uh, very unlike our first two tins. So let's see if maybe we can get a good streak going with these final three packs of this tin. Typically, it seems like with these tins I open, you get maybe an average of one or two decent hits per one or per, per tin, um, which makes sense given the amount of packs you get. So um, fingers crossed they start coming soon here. We'll start off this pack with the Psychic Energy, Marsh Stomp, Eldegoss, Halucha, Nakajita, Rookie D, Galarian Drumica, Sizzlipede, Stuffle, Simiseer is our reverse, and that is an uncommon reverse hollow. And on the end, we have an Arcanine non-hollow rare. All right, guys, so no hits out of this tin yet, but uh, if there were any packs I wanted to get hits from, it would be these two Evolving Skies packs. So uh, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that means we'll get something nice out of one of these two, or maybe even both. Um, we'll chop this top off here, and we'll see what we can get from our first Evolving Skies pack. Uh, from this Empoleon tin. So let's slide these cards out of here. Give you the code as always. Flip that around, three, four to the front. And we do have a hit on the end. I saw that briefly, so let's see what we get this time. We have a Fighting Energy on the front, Scrafty, Snow Leaf Badge, Braviary, Slack Off, Hitmonchan, Thetis, Scraggy, Drowsy, Hurtier is our Reverse Hollow, and that is an uncommon reverse. And our hit, I know we have it. It's a Sylveon V. Okay, so we've seen a promo of this already. It's a different artwork from the promo, so that's nice to see. Um, nonetheless, very cool card. Very nice pull. All right, final Evolving Skies pack from this Empoleon tin. Can we get a really big hit? That's what I would love to see. Slide these cards out of here. Code card for y'all back home. Flip it around three, four to the front. Let's see what we got in our final pack here. Fire Energy on the front, Powdown, Golduck, Single Strike Scroll, Lotad, Litleo, Bagon, Willipup, C Dot, Rayhan is our uh, uncommon reverse hollow, and our final card. We have an Ampharos, non-hollow rare. All right, so pulls-wise, that Empoleon tin was definitely the worst of our uh, three or four tins. Or I guess three, we've opened uh, three so far. Uh, here is our fourth and final tin. We'll see if we can uh, kind of pull ourselves out of the grave with this final guy here. And again, we should know we're gonna get uh, two Brilliant Stars packs, one Fusion Strike pack, and uh, two Evolving Skies packs out of this guy. So uh, the uh, sets are definitely there for the big hits. We'll see if we can actually pull them though. That's, that's the trick, isn't it? There is the promo card out of this guy. We get a nice looking Espeon V code card. Let's see the back of this. And it looks nice. Very good. Very nice to see. All right, and we'll slide our packs out of here. Again, as usual, you come to see this now, you know the drill. We have two Brilliant Stars, one Fusion Strike, and two Evolving Skies. We're gonna start off again, as usual, with our Fusion Strike pack. This is gonna be our final Fusion Strike pack of this opening. Uh, so fingers crossed, we can get something nice out of here to cap this one off. We'll take this back off here. Maybe get this pack open, there we go. Code card. Put that around four to the front. Starting off this time with a Water Energy. Sharpedo, Heliolisk, Dunsparce, Thumbby, Caterpie, Morpeko, Eevee, Shelter, Impidimp is our reverse. That's a common reverse hollow. And on the end, folks, we have an Oracorio non-hollow rare. All right, so no luck from that Fusion Strike pack, but if you're gonna get luck, this is where you want it. Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies, two really good sets from the Sword and Shield era. Um, looking back, I'd say it's probably two of my three favorite so far. Um, and not a whole lot left. We have, uh, let's see, we have Silver Tempest coming up later this week. And then after that, we have Crown Zenith coming in January. And that's going to do it for Sword and Shield, guys. We're coming up on the very, very end of this. 
Um, it's been a nice generation, but I'm looking forward to uh, what's to come. A lot of new Pokemon, obviously, on the on the uh, horizon. So starting off here with a Fire Energy, Kindler, Collapsed Stadium, Hitmontop, Staryu, Burmy, Sock, Cherubi, Riolu, our reverse is a Crawdunt, and that's an uncommon reverse holo. And on the end, we have a Haxorus non holo rare. Some of those Crown Zenith products, by the way, are looking really, really exciting. Um, we're not going to get our standard booster box uh, for that set. They're not making it. It is a special set. So we'll just have the Elite Trainer boxes to look forward to instead. Um, but those will come with 10 booster packs of Crown Zenith. And I believe a uh, card of uh, Lucario V Star will be included in all those BTVs. So that's exciting to see. Um, plus some really cool collection boxes they're launching. We got some shinies of uh, Zacian and Zamazenta, I believe. So uh, definitely good stuff coming up. A lot to look forward to for uh, the next era of uh, Pokemon TCG. Got a Psychic Energy here, Monferno, Gloria, Starmie, this is looking familiar, Ipidimp, Staryu, Riolu, Starly, Milkery, Weasel is our reverse. That's a common reverse holo. And on the end, we have another Moltres holo rare. Very cool. All right, we're down to our final two packs of Lulling Skies. Um, I'm gonna start with Sylveon and leave this Umbreon for last. Just uh, trying to whip some juju up there and see if we can pull one of those Umbreons out of there to cap this one off. Very exciting. But let's see what we have first in this Sylveon pack. Code card for y'all back home. Flip that around. Three four to the front. I can't count sometimes. It happens to the best of us. We have a water energy on the front this time. Crystal Cave, Palpatone, Shopping Center, Nicket, Bergmite, Roggenrola, Swablu, Flabebe, Swoobat, and it's an uncommon reverse hollow, and we do have a hit on the end. It's a Flareon VMAX, so very nice pull there. Here's hoping it didn't blow my good luck on that pack, but uh, finally here, guys, we have our final pack of the day, and this is an Umbreon artwork on our Evolving Skies pack. Let's we'll see what we can get out of here. Um, even if it's nothing, I gotta say, we had some really nice pulls out of these packs today. Um, you know, not a lot of like special Vs, but we do have a ton of standard Vs back here. It's nice hollows as well. Um, so definitely a pretty successful opening, but we'll see if we can cap it off with one final great card in our final pack here. So we have a Metal Energy on the front, Lantern, Treasure Energy, Digging Gloves, Zorua, Cryogonal, Petalo, Bergmite, Drowsy, Shopping Center is our Reverse, and that is an Uncommon Reverse Hollow. And on the end, our final card is a Galarian Zapdos Hollow Rare. All right, so really nice stuff there. We loaded up on the hits with all those V cards and some nice hollows as well. Um, didn't pull any full arts or alt arts or secret rares. You know, it happens. Um, but nonetheless, still a very nice opening with some very nice cards. And that will do it for today's opening. So uh, once again, thank you for watching and tuning in. I do really appreciate it. Like I said earlier, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff helps a lot. Um, I do really appreciate that and it goes a long way. Thanks again for tuning in, folks. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.